Hi, Dr. Joe here to talk a little bit about a new paper that's come out. It's entitled Insulin-Induced Hypoglycemia and Its Effect on the Brain. This is a very important topic. As more and more studies that were started, they were going to be long-term showing the effect of very good control of diabetes having to be terminated because of excessive deaths and the like, both in type 1 and those who have had long-standing type 2. It is something that really has bothered a lot of people because now in 21 reviews of all the, the various papers involved in this, they record a six-fold increase in death. This is the July issue of diabetes. So this is very, very uh, disturbing. More recently, there's been a paper uh, from the Aging Committee on Diabetes and Aging. And what it tells us is that, you know, we don't have to get a glycohemoglobin of 6. You want to be in a place where maybe it's between 7 and 8. The sweet spot is in there where you get a lot of major things that help you but not run the risk of death and other strokes and vascular events that may occur. So what we have done steadily over a long period of time is to try to change the metabolism so the metabolism is normal. And for that reason, we've had a lot of good success, which I'll discuss further. Because, you know, if you're in a situation where this is something that you've just heard about for the first time, you ought to know more about it.